そうねあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっ So they attempt to make their games as approachable as possible, which usually puts constraints on the development team. After playing the Inti Creates developed Yohane the p r h e l i a n Blaze in the Deep Blue, I didn't have too high of expectations for the busy developed Yohane the p r h e l i a n Numazu in the Mirage. This anime deck builder is based in the Love Live spin off fantasy world, but it actually has some depth that surprised me. Ohayo! <laughs> <laughs> the demo of Yohane the Perhelion Numazu in the Mirage features the first chapter of gameplay comprising of about 30 minutes of the adventure. The game is set in Numazu, where Yohane has opened up a shop as a fortune teller, which leads her to possessing a mysterious mirror. However, things around town aren't entirely normal, and whilst trying to find a cure for an exhausted friend, she actually gets sucked into the mirror world. Here, Yohane is attacked by a group of creatures, and she must use her magical abilities to beat them up. Most of your time playing outside of the story will revolve around battles and managing your card deck. Before I get into the actual gameplay, I'll just say that the elements that stand out from the beginning are the high quality illustrations of the cards. This includes the attack and shield cards, but also the unique cards that Yohane uses to summon her friends that can help. There's a decent layer of strategy that feels like it can develop in later hours, but the biggest challenge in these early moments are the healing options that you have, which just boil down to resting at a special place on the map or finding a card that somehow also heals you. Regardless, I had some fun navigating the map while understanding the best way to utilize each of the cards. I will say that the game's opening only highlights a few varieties of available cards. There were plenty of straightforward cards with simple attack and shield descriptions. Still, I found ones I really enjoyed, like developing combos based on the summon cards available for max damage, while also considering my shield points. Each turn's actions are limited to three, but this can change depending on the cards you receive. Interestingly, some cards can be upgraded to be even more powerful. Further, a shop can be entered to buy new cards and create a strategic approach to your deck while finding new summon cards and choosing cards that work for your playstyle after battles. There's a fun game loop that is mirrored, no pun intended, by the character animations, which keeps dialogue scenes pretty entertaining. The ultimate goal of the round was to save my friend, but following my match, I unlocked a special side quest and extra funds, costumes, and more, which shows this isn't just a phoned in experience. There's quality here, and I hope there's more difficulty settings that can make things a bit more challenging in the full release. Yohane the Perhelion, Numazu in the Mirage, really came out of nowhere. But I had a good time with this demo. The fun dialogue scenes, which are semi voice acted, and the fast deck building battles make for a very strange experience, but one that I wouldn't mind playing more of. Once they introduce the costume incentive, I'm already looking forward to what unlockables await. Yohane the p r e l i a n Numazu in the Mirage is coming February 21st to PC, PS5, and Switch. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content.
いますわあっち行け力を見せるズラ力を借りてるよ何でもお任せあれ私も力になるよヨハネピクセル。